Thank you. I wanted you to help us talk about the nature of your relationship with the immediate past governor mm -hmm. of Plateau State because your pictures were all over social media mm -hmm. and certain people have tagged you as even a snitch uh -huh. and asked questions as to why the APC didn't come you know, to collaborate with you ahead on the eve of that rerun election as against you know, your visiting as portrayed in the pictures seen on social media to the former governor of Plateau State, Honorable or Senator Simon Bakulala. Yeah, uh, that was a hard one for me. It, it was. Uh, it became very difficult to swallow. We do respect to all the constituents and the people on the plateau. What I'm saying now, I'm saying it with an apology. If it hurts you, I'm deeply sorry. But um, Lalong was a member of the House of Assembly. I worked. I worked in the State House of Assembly for 13 years. And during my time in the House of Assembly, Lalong was one of those speakers in the House of Assembly. And I was even one time his confidential secretary of Lalong. I am not holding a brief for him. I'm not saying whether he's the best of governors we've heard or not. That was not my reason. I had two simple reasons why I visited him. I visited him because after I won election, he called me and congratulated me. Out of respect, nothing more than respect. I just thought it's respectful to visit. Because I, it would be difficult to work in isolation. I am going to the National Assembly, which is in Abuja. And in Abuja, there are all the people that are all the representatives of Plateau State, whether they are in the Senate or in the House of Reps. You, at some point, have to work together for the betterment of Plato. You don't, you cannot be isolated. You cannot withdraw and be isolated and refuse to associate. It does not mean that your loyalty lies with that person. It means that you respect that person. I do see a very clean line between loyalty and respect. What took me to Lalon was just a respect. The man has a cap on his head, and the cap is that he's a senator. It's not only Lalong. I'm going to have to meet all the senators. I tried to reach to get Lalong, I couldn't find him. But I'm going to reach to all the senators. I'm going to reach to all the House of Assembly members in the Abuja. I have to meet them. I will have to meet them, regardless. I, I cannot refuse to meet them. But if you look at it critically, His Excellency Caleb Mutfan, I presented my certificate to him. I paid my loyalty to him. I spoke my words to him. I told him I affirmed to him what I want to do to support him, to succeed on the plateau, and for him to support me to succeed in the National Assembly. We had our conversations with him. And then I went to Lalong to greet him. I didn't return my certificate to him in the other hand because he's not even in power. I have to work with the person in power. And I know what Governor Mufan has been doing, even what he had done for my election. I know how PDP, he allowed for PDP to be able to function and to do what, if he could stop it, if he wants to stop it at any point. But he made it happen because he believed in me, he believed in the project, he believed in Plateau Project. And I, with due respect to the feelings of everybody, I feel sorry, I'm deeply sorry if that action hurts you. But did you ever say that? No. Off the back of an election? I didn't. I thought it was going to be okay. I didn't envision that. Okay, maybe on my own side, it could be an unintended consequence that is happening. It could be a political exuberance. It could be an unintended consequence. But it's not intended. I didn't intend to hurt anybody. And I, I cannot work in isolation at the same time. Um, if you need to work and do anything happen in the National Assembly, you have to associate and lobby. You have to have a few people here and there. I'm just saying it again, in a simple term. I went to see that person because he has a mantle on his head. It's just mere respect, nothing but respect. I went and saw Darajan, presented certificate to him. I went and saw uh, my governor, His Excellency Mutfan, presented certificate to him. I went and saw Lalong, I greeted him. I am planning on trying to see some other ex-governors of the state because I want to be able to 
I don't want them to see me as being arrogant, as being uh, disrespectful. I don't want to come across as being um, a rogue person. It would be disrespectful for him to have called me to congratulate me. And I pretend I don't know he exists and just wave of a hand and, and show it. It doesn't mean anything. I could meet with anybody if it's going to make my work in the National Assembly benefit the people of Plateau. And I'm not going to temper, I'm not going to dare the, the Plateau People's Project. I know where my loyalty is. I know where my loyalty is. And I've given my loyalty where it is. I could visit any other person just for the visit, but I know where my loyalty is. And besides, like I said again, he's a senator. It may not be the way we want it. It may not be the way you want it. It's, a, it's annoying. It's hurting to you as it feels for you. But he's a senator. And I'm going to be in the same National Assembly with him. There is no way I will avoid him. I will have to meet him at some point. There was no way I will avoid him. Um, maybe this question is too fast, um, but could we see an honorable Daniel Asema defecting to the People's Democratic Party? Like I said earlier, this might be way too early to call. But um, like you said, for me, I look at political party as a, as a podium of which you stand to voice out what it is that you are. Or it, I see it as a platform, which of course it is a platform. And for now, I feel comfortable with Labour. I don't feel any bad. And I don't have any pressure from the PDP. I don't have any pressure from any party. I don't have any pressure. There are no pressures on me. And I feel comfortable with the Labour Party. As much as I'm comfortable with the Labour Party, I don't have pressures on me. I don't want to look at the party. I want to look at what I can do for Plato. I don't, party shouldn't be an issue for me. I just want to see how I can work for Plato and make Plato get what they are supposed to get. I work closely with anybody who is going to be able to work with me for the progress of Plato. In the intervening period, Honorable, um, you do know what the pressing needs and issues for the people of just North Bassa Federal Constituency are. And of course, your predecessor would have embarked on a number of projects and by virtue of the events that unfolded, may not have been able to complete some of these projects. What are these you know, items that you have tried to um, get your hands on, to try to perhaps even dust and look at, be them bills, be them constituency projects, be them interventions that you can be able to, you know, just swiftly act upon. And like I said earlier, in the interim, what are these pressing and urgent needs that you think deserve attention immediately? And I've got, I've got an extract of what the projects are and the budgetary allocations of the projects. I've gotten some, uh, just a bit of uh, knowledge of understanding of that. But my office is still being uh, marked out and then I still have to put on my staffing in place. So all of those are not very ready yet. I've not even finished my documentation. Uh, um, I had to come back home to present certificates and acknowledge a few people who contributed a lot to me and then also to talk to my constituents and to thank them for coming out and doing the massive voting and to believe, for believing in me before I will now go back and try to uh, finish my documentation and uh, start looking into the project and looking into the budgetary allocations of those projects and how I can make them true and then start to see if we can get the benefit of those as quick as we can.